Good morning. Let me not get distracted by my 30,000 thoughts that are going on. Today, it is going to be a very different type of video because I am taking you out with me on a bookish date. Now, I have never done a video like this ever on my channel before, and I have seen a lot of people do a version of this video where they do bookish things for a day and they do like like their book journal and they do book spreads and their tbr spreads and they do all that fun stuff i don't have a book journal and i don't see myself starting one i have tried to do like a spreads type of journal um it's not for me i'm not the one i don't like it and so for that reason, I am not going to be doing a bookish journal in this video, but what we are going to be doing is that right now I am on my way to go to a cafe and we're going to read in that cafe for a little bit. And then after the cafe, there is a book being released today. Um, it's the Lauren Asher new book. I put it here. Um, that's being released today. There's the Not in Love book by Allie Hazelwood, which got released a couple of days ago and I still don't have and I want to go get that. So we're going to go do that and then I'm going to do a book haul because I also have so many books that I haven't hauled because I've been waiting for a video like this. So that's the plan for today. I am in my car. We're going to go drive to the cafe. I've only ever been to it once, but I know it's not going to be busy. And so therefore I'll feel a little bit more comfortable. At least I think it's not going to be busy. The one time I did go there, it wasn't busy and it's just recently opened. And so I don't think it will be busy. Plus it's a Tuesday at nine in the morning. So I hope it's not busy. Um, so yeah, that's where we're going to go. Barnes and Noble doesn't open until 10. So we have like an hour, but I don't see myself leaving to Barnes until maybe 10.30, 11, or whenever I finish my book. So that's the plan. Um, let me know if you like the mic. It's a new, new thing, but I've decided to do this because I feel like you wouldn't be able to hear me over the noise of my car. So I will see you once we get to the cafe. Let me know how you like the quality of this audio because this is the first time that I use this mic, but I've had it since December, so. I will film the, the cafe that we're at today um when i get out the car um i have my little tote bag amazon from these on um and yeah we're gonna go inside because it is hot 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 i don't know what the weather is today but it's at least in the 80s or the 90s someone would come and park right next to me i just left the cafe as you guys saw very cute very fun very not busy been in there for an hour i finished my book and now i am on my way to barnes and noble and get my books and also i got a notification from my library that my copy of unwritten by lauren asher is ready for pickup which is crazy because today is the day that it gets released and it's ready for me to pick up which means i am one of the first people who gets to have it from the library it's getting really busy today that's crazy and i want to get me a copy of bride so that's also a necessity but it's hot and i've been sitting here for five minutes so i'm gonna get going we're gonna go to the bookstore let's go to barnes oh and we have half price books that's close by barnes so if Barnes, God forbid, doesn't have my book. 
I can always just go to Half Price Books and check there. Hi, we have made it. I thought someone was in the car next to me. I almost passed out. Uh, we are here. We made it to Barnes and Nobles, Barnes and Noble, and it was a nice drive. It wasn't really all that bad. Usually, um, it's pretty busy because I drive this way to go to work anyways. Um, but today it was okay. Maybe because it's 10:30 on a Tuesday that it's not really all that bad. But I don't know. I'm excited. I haven't been here in quite a while. Usually I get my books online or I get it from like Target or I get them from Target. Um, I don't typically come here often simply because it's far from my house and on the days that I don't make this drive to come to work, I don't want to make it to come here and this is the closest one to me. So prayers and thoughts and concerns um, over the fact that hopefully they have this book that I want which is not in love by Ali Hazelwood and Bride by Ali Hazelwood because if they don't, I'm be real sad. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's really freaking hot in here, and I don't think I can take a drink in there. I'm gonna try, but if they tell me to throw it out, I'm gonna be very upset, and I'm just gonna chug it down because I paid seven dollars for this coffee. So. space so mid literally midway through me filming something it just goes out of storage and i was like okay so i guess i'll just film on stop from now on um we will return to regular camera quality once i get home but i didn't want to i have like a big camera coffee break i do have a big camera so i didn't want to have to carry it around and film with it because i felt like it was it would have been very obvious with me carrying a big Canon camera. So I decided to film on my phone and I ran out of storage because I'm filming like five videos at the same time. So, um, didn't go as planned. I did find Bride and Not In Love, but then they were having a buy one, get one 50% off for Bride and some other book. And so I decided to get Love In Other Words by Christina Lauren, which is a book very close to my heart and I've been meaning to get for a very long time. I read it two years ago at this point I want to say and I read it while I was like on a flight somewhere and so I really have a close nostalgic attachment to it and I've been meaning to buy it anyways so I might as well and that was included in the buy one get one 50% off so I spent like $45 in there and I had $5 of credit so I think I spent like $40 which is not bad for three books and they had the Boys of Tommen series I didn't think they had but they do 
and I literally just bought the first two online because I'm doing a video where I read the Boys of Tommen series and I didn't know they had those those covers but apparently they do and so um yeah apparently they have those covers so now I know if I want book three four five I can just buy them here instead of buying them on Amazon and not helping my local Barnes & Noble. So now that we are done with Barnes, we are on to the library because they have my copy of Love and Written by Lauren Asher. And I'm so excited to go get it. So let's, without further rambling because I have no storage on my phone, let us go to go get my book finally. And a girl just pulled up next to me and um, saw me doing this and I could not care less. So, yeah. Okay, we got the goods. I will show you when we get home because this is it. It is 11.15 in the morning and I have been out since like 9. And I am really hot and it's 90 degrees right now. So, I'm gonna go home. I still haven't finished my iced coffee, but there's no ice in it now. So I'm gonna go home, put some ice in it, and we'll do the book haul because that's all that's left of this video. Let's get it. I'm back from my excursion, and this is the book that I got from the library, the Love Unwritten book by Lauren Asher, which literally was just released today. So that means I'm one of the very first people to get their hands on this, at least my library copy. This feels a lot bigger than Love Redesign. <gasps> oh my God, the next book is a fake dating trope. I can't wait, can't wait, can't freaking wait. I was also um, really, really intimidated by Love Redesigned when I first got it because of how big it is. These books are thick, thick, baby girl, thick, okay? Um, but they are very, very small, at least like in comparison to my hand, they're very small and so, and they're very, very easy to get through. This is a single dad trope, I believe, with the nanny um, about Raphael and Ellie, which we do meet Raphael and his son in Love Redesigned and I loved them. I've never read a single father trope or a single mother trope for that matter and so, I figured this might be this might as well be my first time because I love Lauren Asher's writing and I have no problem reading about her taking on this trope. So that is what I got from the library. Now as for the Barnes & Noble haul, we are going to have to wait a little bit on that. I'm going to film it at a later date because in a couple of days I have some books coming from Amazon. Um, so I will see you then when those books do come in so we can do one singular book haul rather than do a book haul now and then do another book haul in a couple of days when I do get my package. For you, it'll be like 20 seconds, 10 seconds of waiting. For me, it'll be like a week. So I will see you when I have the book haul, but for now, it's a good one. So I hope you stick around and see the books that I got because I'm so excited for them. I'm so freaking excited. I hope you guys are ready because I have, do I have a haul for you? Do I have a haul for you? I have two big bags of books and some that actually don't even fit in the bag. So um, these are books that I have gathered over the months, months I would say, um, more likely weeks because I have been on a spending spree. I don't know why. I go through these phases where I spend my money on a certain thing. I don't know what it is. Um, usually sometimes it goes between makeup and books and like self-care items, some like stuff for like my room. Um, so I go through these phases where I spend a lot of money on a certain thing. Right now I'm in that certain thing that is books because obviously I have this channel and also there has been so many good books that have been released recently that I have felt the need to buy myself. Let's haul my books. So the first thing that I got, so if you don't know, which you wouldn't know because I didn't have my channel when I did it, I read Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky last year and I absolutely adored it. I loved it so much to the point where I have a like nostalgic attachment to it now because I spent like 10 days with that book and usually I don't spend that long with any of the books ever, really. I usually read a book between one and two days, maybe three days if I'm really stretching it out. For me to read that book in 10 days, going through the stuff that I was going through at the time felt like it was something that I need and something that became like an emotional attachment to that book. So now every time I think of that book, I think of that time in my life. And so therefore I've decided that I am absolutely uh, in need of reading the rest of Dostoevsky's novels. And so I'm working my way through them. Next thing was 
the, the Idiot because this apparently is one of his most famous works. There are some other books that are more known than The Idiot but I wanted The Idiot because it's a longer book and also because I feel like I can spend a lot more time with it and therefore I can have that emotional attachment to it and if there's one thing that I am it's nostalgic and so I love having attachment to things. This is one of his longer novels. I bought this version off of Amazon because I actually really liked the cover and then I decided that you know what as much as I love this cover I don't love it enough to have it because I actually have the Penguin Classic version of Crime and Punishment and so I wanted the, the Penguin Classic um, version of The Idiot. I went to return this edition and they told me to keep it and they just refunded me the money. And so now that is going to go to my sister and I will be reading this one, which I've already tapped the chapters. I do that um, when I read... Um, really hefty books that I'm going to be spending a long period of time with. I tap the chapters so I know how many chapters in here and so I can check them out every time I get to a chapter and it's very satisfying. Um, so yeah, this is the version that I will be reading. This is The Idiot by Fyodor Dostoevsky. This one is going to go to my sister and we will be buddy reading these, which I am so excited for. Then I have Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. If you don't know what this book is, this book is basically a story about this girl who is going through like a midlife crisis and nothing is working out in her life. She's like really unhappy and I think this is somewhat of a true story I'm not really sure um, but it's also a movie with Julia Roberts that I actually really really like and I haven't read this book in a very long time um, I read this when I was maybe 16 17 and so I don't think I got what I need to get out of it at the time but my neighbor's library they have like a tiny little library outside their house had this version in it and so I've decided to pick it up myself um, it's a journey of this woman who goes to Bali and Italy and all these other countries to try to find herself and it's just a woman's journey and I thought that it would be really fun to try to give it a reread with an adult's eyes because the last time I read it I was a teenager. I also got this one which is this is where it ends by this name I'm not even gonna attempt that one. I believe this is about a school shooting, um, if I'm not mistaken. Apparently it takes place over a day and it's a story of a school shooting and you just follow the students in the school shooting and I've always been interested in reading this book and when I found it in the mini library, I thought I might as well pick it up. And then, The Find of the Century. It starts with us by Colleen Hoover and this is the second book in the duology where the first one is It Ends With Us. Um, this is one of Colleen Hoover's most famous works I would say. Um, you saw me read it in this video in the beginning when I was at the cafe. That's because I was reading it for a different video that will probably be up after this one, maybe before this one, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I picked this up because it was right there and it was free and it was, you know, up for grabs and so I decided to pick it up because I read It Ends With Us years and years and years ago and I never continued on with the rest of the duology because when I first Read It Ends With Us, the duology wasn't a duology, it was just a single book. Picked it up, read it, you can see my thoughts on it in the video that will come out featuring this book. Then I got The Italian Job by Catherine Freeman. Um, this basically follows a enemies to lovers, I believe, and it's about this girl who takes a job to renovate a villa in Italy, from what I know. Uh, I have an obsession with Italy, if you didn't know, now you know. Um, I absolutely adore everything to do with Italy. Um, this, oh, fake fiance. Fake fiance, they fake date. So they're not enemies to lovers, but they fake date, which I'm really, really excited about. This book is set in Italy, which is my favorite place in the world. And also it's a fake dating trope and I figured I might as well. I heard somebody really rave about this book um, and about how it was one of the most fun books that they've ever read. And so I decided to pick it up. I got Not In Love by Ali Hazelwood and I already read this in one of my other videos. I can link it down below. Feel free to watch it if you want to know my thoughts on it. Um, this is a story, I don't know how to describe it because it's different from every other Ali Hazelwood book that she's ever written. It's marketed as that and because I actually, let's let's go into the next book while we're at it. I also got Bride by Ali Hazelwood because I actually read this earlier in the year and I absolutely adored it so much, so much. It's about a like a marriage of alliance between a werewolf and a vampire and he's the alpha of the pack and she is a vampire. Her name is Misery, his name is Lo. I did not think that I would love it but it was marketed as something different from everything else that Ali Hazelwood has ever written and I was interested in reading it and so I had to pick it up when I found it for a half, buy one get one half off. Um, yeah, I, it was a steal. Matter of fact, the day that I went to get this one, I was already like in the headspace of getting this one as well while I was at it because I actually really want to reread this 
because I adored it the first time that I read it so much that I feel like I want to be back in this world. I wanted to reread it the minute that I finished it, but I have held out for months. So I feel like, you know, maybe if I have a 24 hour readathon where I don't know what I want to read and I want to read something that I know I'm going to love, then I would probably reread this one. It's stuck in my head. There's not been a day where I haven't thought about this one. So I thought because this one was also marketed as something different from Ali Hazelwood's other works, I thought I would love this one as well. Mm, I don't know if that was my experience with this one. It's basically about this guy who comes to take over this girl, like where she works. They meet through this dating app where it's it's purely physical. You just go to meet with the person to basically do what you need to do, uh, get it out of your system. And the next day she comes to work and he's the guy with the company that's trying to kick her boss out of her job, which her and her boss are absolute like besties. And so she thinks he's evil and it just goes from there. Very different from Ali, every other Ali Hayes award where I will say these two have lived up to the the name of being different from every other work that she's ever written, but this one had a lot, a lot of stem talk that I had no idea what it meant. Um, her research was fascinating, but it was a lot of stem talk. This one had no stem talk and I absolutely adored it. And if this were to be made into a TV show or a movie, I would probably be sat there watching. In that same breath, I also got Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I love this book. I absolutely adore this book. I read this book before. I read it in December 2022. I was on a flight when I read this book and I was on a trip. And so now every time I think back at it, I have such fond feelings for it. And I also really adored this story. I have been meaning to buy this book for a very long time. And so when the time came and it was part of the buy one, get one half off with Bride, I picked it up. The story is about basically best friends to lovers. They like don't see each other. I haven't read this in a couple of years. And so I don't really remember what it was about like specifically but this one is probably one of the ones that I will absolutely reread sometime this year uh, maybe in a 24-hour readathon oh maybe I should do a 24-hour readathon where I just reread my favorite books let me know if you would be interested in that basically about these two best friends who grow up together I think if I'm remembering correctly and then they like separate and then she comes back and they see each other again I'm not really sure I haven't read this in a very long time so I could be very wrong and I could be mistaking it with um, people we meet on vacation by Emily Henry, if that is also a friends to lovers, not sure, but this was very good. That's all I remember. Then I got a novel love story by Ashley Poston. I read the seven year slip by Ashley Poston for one of my other videos and I loved it. I adored it. I gave it five stars. And for that reason, I said in that video that Ashley Poston would become one of my auto buy auto read authors for me. And when this came out, I absolutely knew immediately that I had to go. It was in the cart. I was ready to go. I bought this immediately. I've read it already. It's one of my other videos. I think Ashley Poston is one of the best authors that I've read works from because the way she makes the characters feel real and the worlds feel real it just speaks to my soul. And so, yeah, I absolutely recommend it. Loved it. So, Boys of Tommen. I am doing a video where I read the entire Boys of Tommen series, at least the books that are out. I have already started and I've already read book one. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Johnny and Shannon, like the river, jumping off a cliff immediately. And so I had to go get the second book, obviously, because I need to know. But you know, the funny thing is, is that I died reading this book and I was like dying, breathing, living, dying, like for them, for the characters, for the story, for the plot line. Johnny, the man that you are, Shannon, the woman that you are. And then I can't get myself to read this one because I'm too scared. I'm too scared. I don't want to continue. Like I want to actually take my time with this series because when I read Magnolia Park's Daisy Hates, I flew through them within like a couple of months. And I remember saying in one in my video where I read the Magnolia Parks series that I wish I had taken my time with them and like actually enjoyed them. And so now I'm really, really nervous to read these very quickly. And so I got these first two. I already read this one. The video is coming. Please, if you want a video of them, let me know. Um, like harass me in the comments to actually get to them and read them because I cannot for the life of me get myself to pick this book up. This book series is about this girl Shannon and this guy Johnny and Shannon is a girl who's been bullied her whole entire life to the point where it's really really bad and she's had to leave multiple schools and so she ends up at this one school and Johnny is a rugby player and he's like the number one rugby player, he's just gone through like this surgery because of his injury and he doesn't know if he can really play as well anymore. And when Shannon comes to his school, things go from there. I love it so much, but I really don't want to finish it. And I'm so scared because I know the next book isn't in the series isn't out yet at the time that I'm filming this. So I'm very, very scared. Um, I don't know because I just want to continue reading about Shannon and Johnny forever and never stop reading about them. I could read 
endless manuscripts of them just talking to each other just because of how pure and lovely it feels. I can't get myself to get into them, guys. I really cannot. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I need a lot of help. Yeah, yeah. And then the last two, obviously, if you saw the video where I read a novel love story, then you would know what's coming. I got Reckless. Yeah. I got Reckless by Lauren Roberts because this just got released and I did not want to wait in the library for too many people ahead of me to get to them. I already read it. If you want to know my thoughts on it and my thoughts on the ending, if you've read that, please go watch that video where I read these because I need to talk about the ending. How am I going to wait until April 2025 for Fearless? Like, let me know how you're feeling about it, if you've read it, if you've enjoyed it, because I have a lot of thoughts about it and I don't know where to even start. And with the same breath while I bought these, they had a table where this one was there as well. And I thought I might as well pick it up because I have Powerless and I have this one. And now I have this one because Adina deserves her place on my shelves. I love the black of it. They have a white version as well, but I really wanted the black one. And so when I saw it on the same table as Reckless, I thought I might as well pick it up. And I'm so glad that I did because now I feel like my whole section of this is complete and now we just gotta wait for fearless and oh my god am i mm, i'm screaming i'm so ready there's 14 books in the stack tell me why the only thing that i can think of is that i wish i had gotten one more book so i can make it 15. what is wrong up here the last thing that i have for this haul is actually not a book it's a bookmark and you will understand why um so this is from cosmos studios on etsy i will link the shop down below i love this shop and yeah so let's open it because i'm so excited i don't have anything like this i ordered the one with the tassel you can have it without a tassel or you can have it with the tassel i always pick tassel because i love playing with them and i get distracted by them and so that's fun um this is an italy one an italy themed bookmark because i bought the italian job and if i read this one and i use this bookmark with like the Italy theme and it matches what I'm wearing. Goodbye. It just says Amalfi and then Rome and then Tuscany. Like I said, Italy is my favorite place in the entire world. I love it. I adore it. Uh, I can't wait to go back at some point. Look at this. How am I going to pick this up? Hold on. I guess I should do it this way. Look at this. Like 15 bucks, guys. 14. I wish it was 15. But my God. Oh my God. Here we go. Yay. That's all the books that I got, guys. 14 books. 14 books. Oh, wow. This could be a wait for arm day. I'm not going to do that because I don't. I really don't want to hurt them. With that being said, let me know if you've read any of these. Let me know if you liked any of these. If any of these are your favorite, let me know if you've bought any books recently and if you did what they are. Harass me to finish the Boys of Tommen series because I need to get to them. And yeah, I'm so scared. That is the end of this video. Thank you so much for coming with me on this beautiful journey that this this video. Let me know if you enjoyed it down below. Let me know if you want me to do a part two of this video where I do this again. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down below if you did. Let me know down below what your favorite book is currently. If you've read any of these books, if you've enjoyed any of these books, if any of these are your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Have the very best day. Treat yourself to something nice. And I'll see you guys again next week with another video. Goodbye.